Okay, I have the strength card. Page of Wands, and then the world is here. So something was communicated with this page of wands. Something was like supposed to end out or this was something that was communicated to someone to set their self free from something. So they could accomplish something. It's like somebody was strong enough to tell someone something. This is someone that's a very strong individual. This person is very focused. This person is very compassionate. And this person has a lot of courage. Whatever they do, they have a lot of passion for it. And this is what gives this person a lot of strength. Because like this person is someone who went through a lot. They could have completed some type of cycle out and they ended up... Um, communicating something to someone after a cycle ended out. Because this person inspired their self with their own courage, their own strength. They gained some type of inner strength and they, you know, got more focused. And they communicated something to someone. Yeah, Queen of Swords. It's like they spoke the truth about something. This is someone that is very level-headed. They're clear-minded. And it's like they gave some type of direct communication to someone. They said something to somebody. Yeah, Five of Cups is here. Yeah, whatever they said to this person, it's like this person did not believe them. Queen of Wands. And then the Sun card is here. They're in regret because this person realized whatever, whatever this Queen of Swords said was the truth. Like they expose something. This is someone that's very intuitive. Yeah, somebody wanted this person to reject whatever this person said. Four of Cups is here. And now they're in this Five of Cups energy. Because they didn't believe it. They're definitely in regret. They feel disappointed. Because it's like now they're sitting back reevaluating whatever this person said and they found out the truth. Yeah, Knight of Wands is here. So somebody wanted this person to reject whatever it is that you said. They didn't want that person to believe you. They want that person to think that you were unhappy or something like that with yourself. They could have thought that you were in an energy where you, um, they wanted this person to think that you were someone that was trying to like lure them in, in a lustful way with this Knight of Wands being here. Yeah, you have an Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups was given. <laughs> it's like you spoke the truth to this person and you just kept going, kept moving forward, whether this person believed you or not. Eight of Wands is here. Yeah. You move forward. It's like you made some type of swift change. Eight of Wands. Quick. And it's like if this person did not believe what you said, you knew it was the truth. You knew something would come out. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. This could have been something that had been going on for a long time. Seven of Pentacles and King of Pentacles is here. So whoever this King of Pentacles is, this was something that they were invested in for a long time. That you spoke the truth about. Yeah, but it was hidden. It was a lot of secrets. The moon card is here. This is something that they didn't even know. But you spoke the truth about this. You're someone that's very intuitive. You're very in tune. You could be someone that reads tarot with the Queen of Wands being here. And um, you could also be someone that is spiritually woke, spiritually aligned. And you shed light on something that this person did not know. 
fuck, you knew the truth. The sun card is here. It was hidden from that person, the moon. And they have been investing in something for a long time. So this is why they didn't believe you. They were in regret. Yeah, you have the hair font in the reverse. This this could have been um This person was just, you know, acting out of foolishness. This person was being a fool. They were blinded. This person had blind faith. They didn't believe in something. And it's like not only this person could have been somebody that did not believe in God or they don't believe in God. The star card in the reverse, this person has lack of faith in God. So whatever it is that you, you know, told this person, as I said, they didn't believe you. This person is disconnected. Six of Wands is here. Yeah, this person was definitely disconnected. And then Knight of Cups is here. Four of Pentacles is here. Yeah. So it's like somebody did, you wanted to delay this person. They want this person to lack faith in God. Whatever you spoke that was true, they were trying to keep hidden. Somebody did not know that you would speak the truth. So they, they immediately tried to get this person to be in defense mode. You know, you need to hold back from that person for a pinnacle. This was a tactic to try to control this person and the way they connected with you. And um, they want that person to think that you were in this Knight of Wands energy, like you were trying to lure this person in in a lustful way. And they should reject you. You're unhappy with yourself. And this is why you spoke the truth. I'm done. <laughs> this is sad. I'm so done. Yeah, somebody is definitely under judgment. Because somebody was trying to hold on to something too tight. Even after the truth came out, they were still trying to hide it. It's like this person was trying to win at all costs. To sabotage you because this person wanted to come towards you. Or they were, you know, going towards a whole nother direction. And it's like, if this person was not going towards a whole nother direction... They were trying to sabotage you because they knew you were trying to help that person move forward by speaking the truth to that person. Something that they have been hiding for a long time. King of Cups. Yeah, somebody knew that this person had some type of emotions for you. This person could have been hiding it. So were they, whoever they were investing in, that person was hiding something. And they knew that this person was hiding the fact that they had some type of emotions for you. But they wanted that person to think that you were someone that was envious and jealous of them or something like that. If you spoke the truth about somebody that this person was attached to, they wanted that person to think that you were someone that was unhappy with yourself. You were someone that was trying to lure them in with sex or something like that. And they needed to hold back from you. Yeah, they, th they wanted this person to think that you were jealous of them or something like that. Or you were trying to sabotage them. <laughs> this is sad. Six of Pentacles and then Ten of Pentacles is here. Page of Swords. Yeah. And it's like you could be in this energy where you're, you know, focusing on long-term success. This person has been watching you. They see that you're someone that has a lot of mental clarity. You're always creating some type of new ideas or something like that. And they see that you're someone that's very strong. Like you're very focused. So it's like whatever they were trying to get to stick to this person, to have them under some type of, you know, like mind control. 
to control their, you know, movement. It didn't work. Because whatever they were trying to say about you, it didn't fit. So like this person could have made their self be seen as someone that's in this five of swords energy, like envious and jealous. Somebody that was trying to sabotage you. And they were being very sneaky. <laughs> this is sad. You just will least expect. Ten of Cups is here. Yeah, it's like this person is. This could be a group of people like a family watching you. So maybe this person, you know, gathered a group of people up and they wanted these people to think that you were someone that was trying to sabotage them. Like you were envious and jealous of them. You were trying to sabotage whatever connection they had with that person. You were lusting after this person or something like that. And it did not work. Yeah, you're in this energy. The Empress and then the Musician is here. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you're only focusing on your own growth. And you've accomplished a lot by taking action towards whatever it is that you want for long-term success. It's like you're still in this energy where you're very creative. You took action towards whatever you wanted to create and you're manifesting. You have a lot of self-confidence. Somebody wanted to make it seem like you were chasing after someone. By speaking the truth to that person. Whoever this energy is, they didn't expect for you to move forward. They didn't expect for you to be in this energy where you're manifesting. It's like they gathered up a whole bunch of people to watch you. Yeah. And these are people that have been watching you accomplish things, watching your growth. They see how strong you are, how confident you are. You're someone that's a leader. And you're very determined and focused. So this Knight of Wands, it didn't fit. Somebody was trying to sabotage your character because they were envious and jealous of you. You spoke the truth about whatever they were hiding. Yeah, they definitely were trying to cause some type of confusion. Seven of Cups. Page of Pentacles and then Ace of Pentacles is here. Knight of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, they did this to burn somebody out. They wanted that person to be unfocused. They didn't want that person to have no direction. And this person did not know whatever action that they took, they would have to um, suffer the consequences. Because you're prospering. You have a lot of prosperity, abundance here. Yeah, this could have made somebody realize this person was someone that was keeping them in the energy of restlessness. Unfocused, no direct, just burnt out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is so sad. Yeah, somebody realized this. Like this caused a sudden change. The tower is here. Somebody, re somebody received some type of sudden insight like immediately about that person when they tried to sabotage your character. Because you spoke the truth. Yeah. Now they're sitting back nervous. Nine of Wands is here. It's like they did this over and over and over again. This is somebody was in fear of somebody detaching from them. They're dealing with some type of abandonment issue and they don't want to be by their self. So they thought that they would sabotage your character. Queen of Pentacles is here and then Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, while you were sitting back in this Queen of Pentacles energy, just working on yourself or just, you know, work by yourself, not even paying attention, working hard for whatever it is that you, you know, wanted to manifest. You have your own stability. And it's like you've been nurturing yourself while all of this have been going on. 
So this energy of you wanting the, this person to chase you down or you were chasing after this person, it did not work. <laughs> I'm so Three of Wands is here. This is sad. Yeah, you chose self-love. It's like you are, yeah, Three of Wands and then Ace of Cups is here. It's like you're someone that loves yourself. Especially if you you gain some type of courage and strength to complete a cycle out, you chose to love yourself. Finally start showing yourself some love. And it's like it gave you the ambition to lead something. Be more focused. And have this foresight for whatever it is that you want out of life. You know what you deserve. You know your worth. This is somebody trying to downgrade your put your character. This is somebody that don't even know you. Like you don't even know this person. This can't be someone that you know. The emperor, and then the will of fortune is here. So yeah, they want this person to be guarded because you have the empress and then the musician. You have the will of fortune and the emperor. So somebody definitely knew, somebody wanted someone to think that their divine counterpart was someone that they needed to guard their self from. This person was chasing them down for sex or this person was unhappy in their own life and they were just be using this person for sex or something like that. Somebody found out the truth. It's like they realized they were being backstabbed and betrayed. You came in and spoke the truth to this person to help this person to shed light on something that they didn't know. But it's like that person was trying to make this person believe that you were someone that was, you know, trying to sabotage them. And this is why you spoke the truth. Yeah, seven of swords in the reverse. It's like you weren't in the energy of trying to strategize against that person or being sneaky or anything. It's like somebody definitely wanted, yeah, this is something that this person needed to know. Because you have seven of swords in reverse. This is like coming clean about something, something coming out. Somebody no longer being able to cause some type of deception. And it's like, whatever this secret was, they were no longer able to do it. They figured that they would defame your character because you exposed it. And you weren't doing anything in a sneaky and deceptive way. Like, this was not deception. You weren't trying to gain anything out of speaking the truth to this person. Ten of Wands is here. And then the Nine of uh, Pentacles is here. Ace of Wands is here. Six of Swords. I'm so dumb. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is pure sad. It's like somebody just weighed somebody down. Like they didn't do nothing but burden somebody. It's like if they weren't seeing this before, it, they, it was just evident to this person. And it pushed this person to want to move forward and start something new. It's like it, it pushed this person to want to like separate their self from them. Yeah. It's like whoever this energy is made, made this person make some type of decision to move forward. Six of Swords. Wow. By trying to cover up this, like they were trying to defame your character to cover up the whatever they were hiding, the secret that you exposed. Two of Cups is here and Page of Cups. 
And whoever this person is, as I said, they have been hiding their emotions for you. And that person knew they were envious and jealous of that, but they didn't want that person to know. And this is someone who have been secretly admiring you the entire time. Now they know that you're their divine counterpart. You're their two of cups. But it's like they possibly didn't even know that that person knew. They could be finding out that this person knew the entire time. And they wanted to keep this, this person investing in something with the King of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Because they had been invested in this situation for a long time, being blinded from the truth. And this person was able to keep their secret until you came along and spoke the truth. I'm so done. Yeah, about this person being somebody that's toxic. It's like you spoke the truth about a toxic partnership. This could have been a relationship. Yeah, this was a karmic cycle that they were in that needed to be laid to rest for swords. Somebody that they needed to end something out with, isolate themselves from. And then the hermit is here. Yeah, this person had to, this person could have went so far into wanting this person to think. Just because you were someone that shed it light on something that they didn't know, you were someone that's very intuitive. You're someone that, you know, as I said, could be a tarot card reader, queen of wands, that you were someone that was the devil. You needed, they needed to isolate their self from you. This person needed to know, you know, no communication, no contact, just ghost you, distance their self from you. But th this person did not know that that person would be able to gain some type of wisdom or they would go within to investigate this whole situation. Yeah, everything backfires. Seven of Wands is here. Knight of Pentacles. And then Six of Cups is here. Yeah, they were definitely trying to slow this person down from reuniting with you. But they knew you were this person's divine counterpart. And they knew that something would come to a complete end. The death card is here. Three of Pentacles and then the hangman is here. Five of Wands. And it's like, <laughs> this person is somebody that is sad. Whoever this person is, it's like that wasn't enough for that person. Because some type of way they were still, they still knew how that person felt about you. They could have been getting readings on that person behind the scenes, like obsessively. Try to figure out how did that person feel about you? How do they feel about them? Do they believe what you said? Is their secrets, you know, still hidden? And it's like they got behind the scenes and they teamed up with this Three of Pentacles, the Hangman, and Five of Wands. They did something to try to have somebody like stuck in the Hangman position. This person created a lot of chaos and conflict. This is somebody that was like a rival that you didn't know. King of Swords and then High Priestess is here. Three of Cups is here. And then Justice is here. Somebody close to this person knew the truth about whatever this energy was doing to you. This could have been a friend of theirs. This could have been a family member of theirs. This was somebody that was close to this person. They knew the truth. Eight of Cups. And then King of Wands is here.
And it's like, whoever this person is, they could be in regret because whatever this person was doing behind the scenes, like they teamed up to try to have you stuck with other people to send like negativity around you, chaos, drama to you. They could be in regret because they knew whoever your divine counterpart is. And it's like they're disappointed in their self because they're realizing whatever it is that you spoke the truth about, you shed a light on. This person did all of this to try to keep it hidden. If this part, if that person didn't do anything wrong, why would they create all of this, this chaos, this conflict, this drama behind the scenes? Three of Pentacles to try to have you feeling stuck because you spoke the truth. You know, normally when, you know, a person is telling a lie, they got to cover it up, you know, keep doing something to try to, you know, cover up one lie, another lie, and another lie. So it made this person realize they did all of this because you were speaking the truth. That's it. And whatever it is that they were trying to make you be seen as, it was not working. It just kept backfiring. Wow. This is why this person is in regret. It's like they were in regret. They didn't believe you. They didn't believe something that you spoke the truth about. But once they found out that it was true, they were in regret because they knew that this person was behind the scenes creating a whole bunch of conflict and chaos, trying to send negativity around you. They knew the truth about that. Yeah, they definitely knew the truth. And it's like it only made them realize that this person was somebody that, you know, was trying to keep the truth from coming out. Why else would they try to do all of this, cause all of this chaos and conflict to you if you weren't speaking the truth? Somebody definitely made their self look foolish. The world. Nine of Cups. Yeah. It's like you're in a whole nother cycle in the Nine of Cups energy. Happy. Content. Peaceful. You have emotional fulfillment. This person was not emotionally fulfilled. It's like they could have been emotionally fulfilled when that person was blinded from the truth. You know, this person was invested in this situation. And this was hidden. But it's like now they see you in that energy. Happy, content by yourself. Yeah, and justice is here again. It's like justice was being served. Something came out. The moon is here. And this was supposed to come out so somebody could eight of cups. Leave something behind. I don't know if this person thought that you were going to sit back and make this person believe you. It was no use. It's like you knew the truth. You already knew the truth would come out. You could have knew that that person would be in regret. King of Swords and Six of Cups. Now this person wants to come back towards you. Yeah, this person wants to partner up with you. Two of Cups is here. It's like they see you as their Two of Cups. Their ideal mate that they want to um, partner up with. The Musician. And then three of pentacles. So it's like this person has some type of idea and they want to build something with you. Like collaborate with you on something. Yeah, the emperor. Four of pentacles. And then six of pentacles, yeah. This person have been this person have been holding on to you. It's like they already know who you are to them. 
They were in regret because they didn't see this before. It was hidden from them. They were investing in a situation that they weren't going to get anything out of. It's like they were keeping their self stuck and they're disappointed because they allowed this person to like blind them from the truth. This person thought if they caused some type of fight or, you know, some type of tension or chaos, this person will keep their self in some type of investment. I mean, in some type, yeah, in some type of investment confused. Yeah, this person thought they would, you know, get what they wanted by putting up a fight because you spoke the truth. And you weren't paying attention to any of this. Yeah, somebody got bad luck, the will of fortune in the reverse. While they were creating all of this chaos, drama, havoc, trying to secretly like one up you because you spoke the truth, doing something over and over again. They needed a lot of people to help them, like to defend them. They're all experiencing some type of bad luck or bad karma. Queen of Cups. And then King of Cups. King of Wands. And then Six of Swords. Yeah, and it could have been people that were secretly like, uh, people that were secretly competing with that person. Say if this person is someone that knew this, hits, knew something about you and this person being divine counterparts. They knew once you spoke the truth to this person, their secrets would come out. Whoever they had in this five of wands energy, this could have been somebody that was secretly like competing with whoever your divine counterpart is. This is someone that wanted to come towards you. King of wands, six of swords. Yeah, this person thought that they would be able to come towards you. Yeah, five of pentacles and ace of pentacles. Somebody is definitely being left out in the cold. And it's like they wanted that person to be left out in the cold. Whoever this emperor is. Yeah, somebody been secretly like competing with that person. This is somebody else that wants to come towards you. Because they feel like whoever this emperor is, they can have this person in this five of pentacles energy. And they would have some type of abundance. Yeah, whoever I would say, who is this person? Five of ones popped out again. This is somebody that's secretly like competing with that person. They want to come towards you. And it's like they want this person to be left out in the cold. This is somebody that knows about the connection that you and that person have. Like they know that you and that person are divine counterparts. You and this person have a spiritual connection. But this is someone who wants you for themselves. Ace of Pentacles is here. They figure they come towards you with this energy of, you know, commitment or wanting to start a new venture with you. This emperor will be left out in the cold. Page of Cups. Yeah, this is a secret admirer. This person has been secretly admiring you. Nine of Wands is here. Yeah, they know that this person is guarded. So whoever this emperor is, they're in the energy. They're holding back. They're very guarded. They know who you are to them. But they're guarded because they know that this person was creating a whole bunch of chaos and conflict for you. So they're feeling guilty about whatever it is that took place. Nine of Wands is here. It's like they weren't paying attention to why this person kept doing something over and over again. They were too busy in this energy being blinded from the truth. Somebody was confusing somebody. Like placing an illusion over this person. Whatever you spoke the truth about, this was being done to this person and they did not believe you. So that person was able to keep them in this two of swords energy. 
some whoever this person is, they know that this person knew that this person was, you know, creating some type of chaos or conflict for you because they wanted you to feel stuck for speaking the truth. And um, your divine counterpart knew whoever this king of wands is, they want that person to be left out in the cold and they want to come towards you. Because they feel like this person knew what this person did to you. Yeah, the sun card is here. Yeah, they definitely knew. They knew the truth. The Herman is here. Yeah, it's like they knew the truth. This person could have distanced themselves from, from you because they were guilty of whatever it is that this person did to you. It's like this guilt is, is weighing this person down. But whoever this person is feel like that they knew, you know, they allowed this person to do this. Whatever this person did to try to have you in the hangman energy. Five of Cups, yeah, they're in regret because they didn't believe you. This person is disappointed in their self because they watched you move forward. The chariot is here. You still move forward. And now they're just stuck in guilt. It's like they want to come towards you. But um, they're possibly trying to hide the fact that they knew that this person tried to create all of this chaos and conflict for you. They secretly tried to one up you because you spoke the truth. And it's like now that they found out that they were betrayed, they're in more, you know, regret, feeling guilty. Yeah, because they've seen that you move forward. Ace of Wands and the Empress is here. Yeah, it's like this person is still getting ready to come towards you or take action towards you, but you have this other person. They want to come towards you too. Ten of Pentacles is here. And then Eight of Swords. So whoever this person is, they're coming towards you. They want to take action towards you because um, they know that you're their divine counterpart. And this person feel like you, you belong to them with this eight of swords being here. This person wants to start over with you. They want a new beginning and they um, want to build this ten of pentacles with you. And then you have this other person. They don't want this person. It's like they want this person to be left out in the cold because they feel like this person, you know, they knew. Page of Pentacles. And then Queen of Wands. Five of Swords and Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. And it's like whoever... <laughs> Whoever this other person is, they're just sitting back getting readings on you and this person. This person could be envious and jealous because you're someone that's a tarot card reader. And they've been trying to hide for a long time that they were envious and jealous of you because you were able to shed light on whatever they were hiding for a long time. But yeah, this person could be constantly just getting readings on you. Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands, and Three of Cups. And Seven of Swords, wow. Yeah. And it's like, whoever this person is, they could have went behind the scene and got a reading and found out they got betrayed. This person was someone that was in, in this Seven of Swords energy. Whoever your divine counterpart is. And this messed this person's head up. Five of Swords. Like, it had them all messed up in the head. When they found the truth out about this person. This person could have been sleeping with a friend of theirs or somebody that was close. Or they slept with someone that was close in this person's circle. 
Yeah. And this could have messed this person head up because they didn't believe nothing that you said. Eight of Pentacles is here and they were just sitting back watching this person in this Five of Wands energy. Wow. Yeah, the devil. It's like they were working with the devil and they didn't know. And everything backfires. Seven of Wands. It's like some stuff could have backfired on that person and they're in regret. They could have took some type of loss and they're disappointed. Yeah, Seven of Cups is here. <laughs> And then Nine of Pentacles is here. And then Temperance is here. Seven of Wands and Nine of Swords, yeah. As I said, something backfired and somebody is stressed out. It's like they can't sleep at night. They got exposed. Somebody did too much. It's like they just kept doing something to prove, you know, who they truly were to that person. They were obsessed with causing this, you know, casting this confusion or keeping that person confused. The devil and seven of cups and they were working hard. This is why this all backfired. Somebody is sitting back confused as to how are you still grounded? How are you still stable? This person could have had spell work placed over you. And they're trying to figure out how are you mentally stable? They try to, you know, cause some type of confusion over your stability. Like they didn't want you to be seen as someone that was mentally stable, you know, self-sufficient, independent. Someone that can stand on their own two feet. They wanted you to be seen as someone that was in this Nine of Swords energy and it backfired. They're in this Nine of Swords energy. Yeah, after trying to play some type of illusion around you. It's like they were trying to sense, you know, different stuff at you, magic at you, and it didn't work. It's like you could have exposed something that this person did not. It's like they, it was hard for them to believe, especially if you spoke the truth about some spell work being done over them. Or some type of magic. They didn't believe you. Yeah. And this person was trying to make you know make you be seen as someone that's confused. And it backfired. Like this person was trying to send some type of psychic attacks at you. Or something like that. They wanted you to feel stuck. It didn't work. You already knew the truth. You spoke the truth. This didn't do nothing but give you more inspiration page of wands to take action towards something yeah it's like you were someone that was in a process of discovering your gifts and this is what gave you a lot of courage and confidence to speak the truth to this person somebody thought that they would create a whole bunch of chaos conflict so you would just feel stuck in life They didn't know you were gaining a lot of deep insight. This person did not know that you would be getting more enlightened and um, looking at things on a whole nother perspective than what you were before. And it will cause this change, a drastic change for you and accomplishments. Four of Wands is here and Two of Wands is here. Page of Swords. And then the Hangman is here. Yeah, somebody definitely, somebody definitely realized that they were at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take while they were watching you. It's like they found this out. This person was only watching you because you're this person's like divine counterpart. You're this person's twin. And they were at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take, and they started watching you. This person ended up getting enlightened. And it's like they feel guilty about whatever took place. Because they didn't believe whatever it is that you were saying about that person. They had been invested or knew, knew that person for a long period of time. So they had them in the energy of being blinded from the truth. Now it's like they, 
there can no longer they can no longer blind that person from the truth and they're heartbroken yeah because this person realized you have the tower and knight of cups and now it's like they're coming towards you this person is um coming towards you with some type of romantic offer Yeah, Eight of Wands. So this person is definitely getting ready to communicate with you. This is going to be some type of sudden change because now this person is defending whatever it is that they believe in. Whatever it is that you told them, they realize that it's the truth. Now they're coming after, um, they're, this person is coming after or coming towards you quick. Yeah, Six of Wands. And Queen of Swords. Yeah. This person wants victory and success with you. And it's, it's like this person realized you spoke the truth. Queen of Swords. And you could be getting public recognition for speaking the truth. You have the Six of Wands and Queen of Swords. You spoke the truth and you've only progressed. A lot of people are looking at you. You could have a public uh, platform or something like that, doing something online. This could be a business where you speak the truth. You give clear communication, clear insight to people by using your intuition. Yeah. And it's like this person is coming towards you. Now they're in an energy where they're, they're moving quick. Knight of Swords. And somebody is definitely, you know, they're heartbroken. They can't believe that they sabotaged yourself trying to sabotage you after you spoke the truth. 